Hi everybody, so today I'm going to talk about how to hook up an I2S or a SPDIF DAC. Um, a lot of DACs today are uh, USB, um, but there's definitely uh, some older ones that are SPDIF, and then a lot of people are using I2S now. Uh, and we're, we're going to be using Rune and our Sonic Transporter server and a whole bunch of other gear that, that we uh, sell here at Small Green Computer. Uh, so I'm going to start off with our Sonic Transporter uh, Rune server. You uh, you definitely need one of these. Uh, this is your Rune core. This is where Rune lives. It's also where your music files go. I've got this little uh, slot in the back here. You can add an SSD. Uh, you know, the more music files you have, the bigger, bigger SSD you can put in there. Um, so this thing, we can uh, power it up here. Got a little, little DC power supply for it. Uh, the next piece, it's pretty cool is this trend net switch I have here so we're going to be using uh, fiber optic uh, Ethernet today so the great thing about this switch is it has regular wired Ethernet ports and then it also has this uh, SFP slot here which is for uh, fiber fiber Ethernet the great thing about fiber Ethernet is it eliminates um, all of the noise that might be traveling uh, on your Ethernet uh, cable so the noise from this server the noise from your router all that kind of stuff you can get a little media converter that, that converts from Ethernet to uh, wired. That works just as well. It's kind of also nice to have it all in, in one box here. So let's uh, power that guy up here. So we're going to hook this in transporter in with this Ethernet cable. So we got that all hooked up. All right. Uh, so the next piece we have here is our optical rendu. So this is a Rune Ready uh, player. So it goes from Ethernet, in this case optical Ethernet, to uh, USB. So if you had a USB DAC, you can set this on top. It shows up in Rune as a Rune Ready player, and you can uh, play to it. So I got this nice optical fiber here. I'll plug that in the switch. Here and then I have this nice little uh, small green computer linear power supply, really low noise. That's very important. This is the player; it connects directly to your DAC, so you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get noise from your power supply. Put that up. A little cable here. Here, plug that in. So now, if we were using a USB DAC, this is where it would end. I would just plug it uh, right in there. I could play to it. Um, but we have one more add-on piece here, and this is the uh, Sonore Alter Digital. And what this is going to let us do is go to uh, SPDIF um, or uh, I2S. In this case, the I2S is the LVDS. It's what a lot of you might know as an HDMI uh, connector. There are a couple of different ways to wire uh, I2S, but this uh, this LVDS connector is the most common, so that's that's what we have. We do have some dip switches inside here in case your uh, thing is wired a little differently. There is no standard for I2S, but um, you know a lot of them are the same, so this is designed to, to work with pretty much anything out there. Uh, so we take a USB cable and we hook that in here. It's a great system. It's very modular. You can see these two things are actually in the same case, so they kind of kind of go well together. I'm using a very short uh, USB cable, uh, shorter USB cables, less noise. Um, this is my uh, HDMI cable here, and again, we're not sending a video signal over this. Uh, we're using an HDMI cable to send I2S, which is it's very similar to SPDIF. Um, but it allows you to talk directly to your DAC chip. So you're bypassing, you know, the USB chipsets, you're bypassing any streamers in your DAC, and you're going directly to the DAC chip. Uh, it gives you the cleanest path. With most DACs, it gives you the best sound. So go in here. I don't actually have um, an I2S DAC here, so you can maybe imagine it being right here. I plug that in. And so this is the, uh, this is the complete chain. We have our room core server. We have our Ethernet switch, which is, um, you know, joining all the Ethernet signals. We have our optical rendu Rune Ready Streamer player. We have our Alter Digital, which is converting to uh, I2S, and then we're going into our I2S DAC.